All right, welcome to another edition of Ram Country Conversations. Brian Roth, voice of the Rams, back with you. Well, today we're very happy to be bringing in the president of Colorado State University, Joyce McConnell. And Joyce, thanks so much for joining us today. I know you're very busy navigating these unprecedented times. And this is obviously a unique situation for higher education, one that really no one could have prepared for every possible scenario. Tell me a little bit about how your team and really the overall campus operation has adjusted to this new reality. Well, it's really been extraordinary and I really have to give a shout out to our faculty and staff. Um, our faculty transferred the entire university curriculum to online in 10 days, which is phenomenal. And um, we have a few resources here that really made a difference. We have something called the Institute for Teaching and Learning, which is actually specialized in um, supporting faculty to do their very best work. And so they just moved right in and started doing it online and helping the faculty do it online. So that's been really amazing. Um, and the students have just been extraordinary. I know this is really hard on them, um, it, it, you know, if you put yourself back in college, what's the last thing you wanted to do it was to go home for a long period of time, right? So all of those wonderful things that you go to college for, that feeling of freedom and running around with your friends, and it's really hard for the students to go back, but they're doing a really, really wonderful job. And we have continued all of our academic support, all of our tutoring, all our advising is all available to them online. So we're really trying to make sure that we're giving them the support they need. And of course, the staff has just been amazing and we have still have um, people in housing and dining and custodial staff and facilities having to continue to work and there are heroes there are frontline heroes you bet you bet i'm curious how you've seen this community both uh, on campus and off campus kind of come together to support one another during this time well <laughs> it's really amazing they're doing it in so many different ways so um, faculty and staff have done these wonderful videos um, for students and for their colleagues where they just get on the video and they tell them how much they miss them and they're all going to be fine. You know, so there's this wonderful sense of camaraderie and supporting one another during hard times. Um, but there has also been this uh, coming together around understanding that this is true disruption. Uh, to higher education and that we've all got to get together, not only to make it through in the immediate sense, but to prepare for what's to come once we're through the pandemic. And, you know, people forget higher education is, is we're an educational institution, but we're also a business, right? We're not not for profit business but we have a um, huge number of employees and all kinds of business transactions going on all the time. And so this kind of economic disruption means we're gonna come through this. I know we're gonna be stronger, but we really have to rethink our business model. Right, yeah. Final thought before we let you go. Obviously the loss of sports has been a major blow to a, a lot of people worldwide. As we look forward to hopefully their return in the fall, uh, what would be your message of hope to the college sports fans out there? Well, I know we're all getting tired of watching old games, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and the ones we loved. <laughs> um, and so I think all of us are really looking forward to fall. What I'm hearing so far is actually – I'm optimistic about. Um, I really feel like we'll get back and we'll have a season. Um, it, and that is something I think we all have to look forward to. One of the things I've been thinking about is, you know, you uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Um, right. Maybe the silver lining to come out of this um, in the fall when we resume is just we're all going to be so much more grateful to be there, grateful for our coaches, for our athletes. Um, for, our, for our great, great students. And so I'm just hoping it's another one of those moments where we get to come together and celebrate that we made it through and we're stronger. Yep, I'm hoping for a September 5th, a packed stadium, 
at Canvas Stadium. And, and to have you up in our radio booth in that third quarter, and we'll be talking about how we all made it through it. So, Joyce, continued uh, success and luck. Stay safe and, and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great to see you again.